Right, so we are back out in town again today and we are gonna do a little bit of phone photography. So all photographs in this video will be just on my mobile phone and edited on the phone and everything like that because as we all know, the phone companies are really stepping up their game when it comes to the cameras on their phones with the new iPhone 13 and also with the new Pixel 6, which is gonna come out in the next few weeks or so, which I'm actually quite excited for. I'm looking forward to seeing if I can get my hands on it and yeah, sort of give it a crack. So how about you grab yeah. yourself a drink, uh, get yourself together and follow me on a nice trip around London, shooting just with your mobile phone. Let's go. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here at Benham Media. My name is Nathan, and it's an absolute pleasure to see all of you here today. Thank you so much for clicking on that thumbnail. So like I said in the intro, we are back out in London, and instead of me shooting on my Canon 80D, which is what I'm gonna use for my video today, I'm gonna use this uh, Canon Pixel 4 phone to take all my shots today. It does occur to me that I don't usually use my phone as much to go out and take sort of like pictures like this. And yeah, I use it mainly for sort of like snapshots of the family and doing a few little stories and stuff like that. But because the because of the phone companies really up in their game on their camera tech, they really are looking towards the creatives like us, like myself, like you, to sort of like try to really up the game when it comes to their camera phone technology. Now, I will always barrack that I don't think they will ever get as good as what you would probably consider a proper camera, but they are definitely getting closer and closer and closer. But most of it is because down to the AI, the very intelligence that is in the sort of like the chips and the technology that goes into it, rather than the hard manual work, which you do get when you shoot on a proper camera, like the Canons, the Nikons, the Sonys, and so on and so forth. But I decided to make a video about just going out taking photographs with my phone because, you know, at the end of the road, it's, it's not something I've done before. I do every now and then take the odd snapshot with my phone, but I've never sort of concentrated solely on sort of like shooting and editing purely on my mobile phone. And also, like I said, within the intro, I've got the Pixel 4 at the moment. I completely missed out the Pixel 5. And the Pixel 6, which comes out in the next few weeks, few months from now, looks absolutely sensational. So I can't wait to upgrade to that particular phone and sort of like test out that camera and give it a bit of a look. And maybe I might repeat this type of video with that sort of like particular phone. But we are currently just by Liverpool Street Station. I'm gonna take a little walk towards the river because there are some locations that I definitely want to have a look at and use the sort of like this particular camera. Um, you know, because it's got a wider lens, you can sort of, it's got a decent little zoom in it and you can sort of like capture a different type of feel when it comes to your mobile phone. Is this going to be a video about, you know, do you need a camera to sort of become a sort of like a street photographer? I don't know. I don't think that's going to be the way. I will always, again, like I said, barrack the fact that if you want to take photography seriously, you should definitely get yourself a digital camera. But, you know, the phones are definitely getting closer and closer and closer and closer. So we will head off to our first location right now and I implore you to uh, to come and join me. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done already, I would ask you to subscribe to the channel as it does really, really help. And we are doing quite well here at Better Media. And yeah, I would appreciate your support. So let's head off to our first location now. Here I am at my first location, and I'm at the Gherkin at the moment. We've got the uh, Lloyd's building just around the corner, which if you guys don't know it, is this wonderful building with all the pipes outside. And you've also got the, uh, what is called the cheese grater, just past that as well. Now, one of the cool things that you can do with your phone, in fact, because you have such a nice wide angled lens, generally on most phones, is that you can get some great look up shots. So that's what I'm gonna do to begin with, get some really nice look up shots of some of the skyscrapers that we have within the city. And 
yeah, sort of start off with that. So uh, let's start off with the Gherkin and then we're gonna move around towards the Lloyds building, get a few shots there as well. So start this off. it before I came out. So that is this location done. Oh, I've got some really, really nice shots actually. There's a beautiful reflection shot of the gherkin of this building just here as well. So yeah, so I've done a few nice nice look up shots, some nice reflection shots. And yeah, so I'm really, really pleased with them as they are. Obviously it'll all come out in the edit, I guess. So we're gonna go to our next location now and which is sort of like a nice sort of like lead and line shot up towards one of the other skyscrapers that we have in London, which is the Shard. So uh, let's carry on, shall we? far to get to this location. I completely forgot where it was. For those of you who are looking for this particular location, I'm gonna name the street now. So we are at St. Mary's on the Hill. That's the road that we are now on. And it's a wonderful road that leads all the way down and you can sort of see the shard in the background and it's got these wonderful leading lines on the floor, which are the yellow sort of like parking lines, which is what I'm gonna use as sort of like a nice leading line leading up down the street. There are a couple of trucks down at the bottom at the moment, so I might wait a few minutes to see if that is completely clear. I'm not entirely too sure. But uh, yeah, I walked in the wrong direction trying to find this street. So yeah, it's taking me around about 30 minutes to get here, but at least I now know the name of the street. So when I actually plan to come out and shoot with this bad boy, I will uh, I will know where I'm going. So yeah, so let's uh, let's wait a few minutes to see if this, this truck leaves. If not, I will still see if I can get a decent shot and then we'll move on to the next location. shot uh, lucky enough for me the trucks actually did leave so I've got like a nice clean shot all the way down the street which I'm extremely pleased about so that means about four or five shots as I took before that left is sort of like gonna just be straight into the recycle bin because quite frankly it looks like a cleaner picture without the actual trucks in there so that's this one done we're gonna head to the other side of the river now and see if we can get some nice shots of uh, Tower Bridge, and the Tower of London, to see if we can get any reflection shots off the sort of like the surface of the uh, sort of the bank side. So that's where we're gonna go next. So let's let's head off.
Right, so we're coming to the other side of the river now. So I'm right by the Tower Bridge. And my plan is for here is to see if I can get like a nice reflection shot coming off the sort of the platform of the bank and get the tower bridge in just behind. The only problem is, is it doesn't look to be so shiny today. And I haven't brought any water with me, which would really, really help with sort of the reflection, give it like a nice little still surface. So we will try to get the best that we can here. Uh, I still think I can get a decent shot, I already do. Um, but like I said, it's, it's not the shot that I wanted because I haven't sort of like forward planned this particular shot. So I might come back with a, with a bottle of water or something liquid that I can sort of like put on this sort of the surface to give it that nice little sort of tight reflection. So, not sure I'm gonna get much B-roll because it is hella busy. Because it is also half term, so there's a lot of people around. So I'm not really gonna sort of like leave my camera somewhere <laughs> where it can probably be picked up. But, um, but yeah, I'm gonna try to get the shot and then have a bit of a think about my next location because this is ideally my last one. I might see if we can go around the city hall and try to get some nice shots of the Shard and also the sort of south tower of the bridge as well from that nice little alleyway, which so many people use as well. So we're gonna give that a crack. But, um, yeah. but yeah, let's uh, let's get the shots and see what we can do. I think it would be rude if I wasn't this side of the river and this close to the Shard, not to see if I can get a couple of look-up shots of the Shard itself. Never actually been this close to the Shard to do that myself. Um, one thing I will point out is that a couple of times shooting around this area, I have been stopped by security to ask what I am doing. Uh, they've been quite understandable, but the thing is they are still doing what they have to do. And as long as you are sort of polite and courteous, I showed them some of the pictures on my phone and also the B-roll that I was shooting on my camera as well. So they seem to be okay, but as long as you're not sort of like getting too woo about it, they seem to be okay. But you need to be wary of that, that a lot of this area is private property. There are some very important offices and buildings around here, so you will be stopped. So just be courteous, cur courteous and it should be going. But I think that's enough of the photographs for now. Let's go and find somewhere quite sort of like sheltered, somewhere nice and sort of like where I can give these a bit of an edit now. So uh, let's, let's move on, let's go. Just cause you wanted to mm -hmm. Not thinking about what you made her do She started Doing her hair and makeup all just for you Only because you kissed a girl when you wanted to Young and smart, got no responsibility in this world But if you're young and smart, you should know better Don't get laid back cause you're not that cool Don't think you're safe and sound walking around That's the editing done. Um, 
It's a bit loud around here, so my plan was to end the video here, but there's a lot of construction going on just behind here. So how about we cut back to the studio and we'll have a quick little look at these photographs and I can talk you through them a little bit. So let's go back there and we can end this video. Thank you so much. See you soon. Oh, so that's a little bit better, a bit quieter in here. And I've had a bit of time to go over to some of the photographs that I've also taken today and have a bit more of a fiddle, edit some of the ones that I didn't get a chance to edit at the park and sort of like just do a few little final little tweaks. And these are the photographs that I've come up with. Now, overall, I'm extremely pleased with these photographs, which I'm, you know, expecting to be. It's a good phone, it's a good camera, and, you know, the locations were pretty much spot on. So, going back to what I originally said, is this going to be a video about a, how a phone can start taking over a proper camera? Of course it's not. Yes, the barrier is definitely getting smaller and smaller and smaller, but at the moment, you know, if you get yourself a decent Canon or Sony or a Nikon or anything like that, you're always going to get more superior photographs. But it is always good if you don't have your camera with you or if you're just walking around a strange city and you've not brought it with you, it is good to know that you can still take very, very good photographs with your camera phone, which is nice. It's, it's, a, it's a promising feeling. I suppose going forward. Now I can't wait to get my hands on the Pixel 6. I am actually looking forward to it. I love the specs of it. So once that comes out and I'm able to afford my upgrade, I will definitely be doing that and I'll, you know, might take it out for a test run as well. Just a quick note, I did in fact take all these photographs on my phone and I actually edited them with the Lightroom app on my phone as well. None of this was done on the laptop. So if you are an inspiring photographer and you are looking forward to maybe sort of expand your sort of going, you know, your, your sort of creativity and you can't yet afford a camera like this, just to let you know that these photographs were done with an app on a phone, taken on a phone, yada, 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 yada. So good luck to everybody who is out and about doing it that way. But guys, that is me done and dusted for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you will consider subscribing to the channel and like this video if you have in fact enjoyed it. And until next time, guys, thank you so much. I will see you in the next video. Bye.